What's up, my meatballs? It's Aaron at Mar. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Last time, uh, Alice was on trial with the Queen of Hearts, uh, and she was imprisoned. And then she was she somehow escaped or was kidnapped or something. So now we're gonna go ahead and try and find her. We gotta head into the lowest forest and see where she is. We're muddling, but I don't know. Some for some reason we're still helping. Have you seen Alice? Alice, no. Shadows, yes! Where did they go? This way, that way, does it matter? Left, right, up, down, all mixed up, thanks to the shadows. Step deeper into the forest to the deserted garden. You might find shadows in the upside down room. Talking literal nonsense until you figure it out later. Alright, so now we've got even more Heartless to fight, which is just fantastic and outstanding and amazing. Alright, this guy is really annoying, I might add. Because you can only hit him from behind because his front acts as a sort of shield. So, you've got to sort of do that and just attack him from behind. Sometimes he doesn't want to let you do that. Which makes sense. I mean, why would you want somebody to destroy you? But anyway, let's go ahead and see. You notice that, that at the beginning, that rock there was moved. If you had been paying attention in the previous episode... The rock was blocking sort of an entrance that we could have gone through. Now we're able to go through there. Look at all those tech points we just got. Alright, so let's go ahead and head on through. And now this place is actually opened up. So let's go ahead and head into the tea party garden. Alright, there's a the Mad Hatter and the Mad Hare. Let's examine. Can we examine? We can examine this. A very merry on birthday. Sit down to get your present. Alright, so now we've got seven chairs to choose from. And two of the chairs actually spawn heartless. So what you want to do is just start going one by one. Eventually you get to a heartless. And if you do, you can just reroute around and come and get uh, the remaining prizes. Basically, each one will give you an item and then some stuff. So there's some health. Alright, let's go ahead and sit here. And this one will give us, I believe, some money. Yeah, money. Oh, I guess it's a little bit of everything. All right, and elixir. So that's pretty cool. All right, just keep on going. Keep on trucking. Uh, this one's going to give us heartless. Yep. I knew it. I've messed up on this enough to know which ones do what. Oh, nice. You leveled up. All right. Come on, guys. You know you can defeat these dudes. Even if they melt into the, the floor, you know you can do it. Alright, so now we have to go through the bazaar room in order to even return. But that's just sort of, you know, a place to get extra stuff. Hello there, Mr. Cheshire Cat. They're hiding somewhere, and the Mamaras out grave. Want to find the shadows? Try turning on the light. What is he going on about, mate? Anyways, here's more Heartless for us. Yep. As you can tell, we're definitely going to have to be finding a ton of these. And a lot of the times, the problem with this game is like you can't, if you're, if there's enemies around, you can't do anything. You can't open treasure chests, you can't interact with things, so you have to defeat the Heartless. Later games, this was amended, and I was really hoping in the HD Remix that they would at least fix that. I mean, I saw the addition of the triangle button, I was hoping they were going to fix the issue with not being able to open treasure chests and things. Um, but I guess not. It's still alright, because then this gives you an excuse to level up and fight and, um... So you're not like just rushing through the game and all of a sudden you're like, why am I doing so badly? Because you didn't freaking do anything. Alright, so he told us that in order to find the shadows, we're going to have to turn on the light. Well, it looks like here's some two candles. Let's go ahead and touch. And there grows a flower. It's too dim. Make it brighter. What next? One more lamp that you need to light. Are you retarded, Sora? You must be. Alright. All the lights are on. You'll see the shadows soon. They'll arise in this room, but somewhere else. The shadows might go after that doorknob, too. So in this room, but somewhere else means they'll be in a different orientation of this room, which is pretty interesting. I always, like, I like the idea of it. It just should not have been a first world uh, concept because that really, it just, it leaves a sour taste in your mouth. You're like, do I really want to continue this game? It's going to be like this. Anyway, I was talking really fast. Let's go ahead and head to the Queen's Castle. Alright, 
And go ahead and pick up this treasure chest here. All right, and there's a Thundara G. It's pretty much gummy pieces. I really never have used gummy pieces ever. I don't think I'm even going to in this playthrough. The default ship has always just gotten me, uh, you know, just been fine for me. So your mileage, once again, may vary. Um, but it will depend on, uh, you know, if you're struggling or not. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Let's get some more tech points. All right, what's this? Another ether. All right, they seem to be dropping a ton of items. All right, hop up here and go into the bazaar room. All right, so now we're from a different orientation than we were before. Isn't that pretty cool? All right, come on. None of those, none of those deep freezes hit. Freaking wow! All right, so let's attack these guys so we can start interacting with things. All right, let's go ahead and interact with this handle. And for some reason, it fills up a big vase thing. Or a pot. And this will actually lead us to a place in the Queen's Castle to pick up more items. Or more treasure chests or whatever. Alright, there's another one right there. Another gummy. I really don't, honestly, I don't use the gummies. They're, they're just not worth it for me. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up. And let's go ahead and return to that room. Because we left prematurely. There's another way into the bizarre room we can go. Uh, trust me guys, I have tried and tried to memorize this place and I still for the life of me cannot just get it down pat. There's so many different paths and things you can do that it's just, it, it, I struggle with it and I've played this game at least five times all the way through. Alright. Even recently too, like before this game came out I was like, alright I'm gonna play Kingdom Hearts 1, get it all out of the way, you know, remember all the stuff I forgot and you know, just learn as I go for Kingdom Hearts Final Mix when it comes out. And I still haven't memorized it, and it's been maybe a month since the last time I played it. Alright, we can't get up there. Alright, hop down here. We'll have Heartless to fight. And we saw that bucket rise, so now we can get back up on the, the middle part. Alright. Ice is really one of your most powerful items, that or magic spells that you're going to use. Fire, I don't particularly like. It takes up too much, and it doesn't have as widespread of a, a area of, you know, damage. So I prefer Deep Freeze. I keep calling it Deep Freeze because that's what he says. It's just, you know, Freeze or Blizzard or whatever. All right, what's around here? We can head into the Lotus Horse from there. Oops. Um, we can head into the Bazaar Room from here, right? Right, and then I believe this is where we came from. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and try the Lotus Forest first. We can always come back because that place doesn't change. All right. Let's see. Oh, wow. All right, that took us literally nowhere. It did nothing. All right, luckily, the entrance to that is right there. So now we can go back to the bizarre room and do some things. Do some things. Do some things. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. Kill these guys. These heartless guys. Are these the heartless guys? All right. Now we can head into the chimney, not the chimney, the fireplace, and drop down into the bazaar room from a different orientation. All right, so there's plenty of fire guys. What are these guys? I'll, I'll, I'll put text here talking about what these guys' actual names are because I honestly have no idea. All right. Watch out, man. All right. Order to even like get anywhere we have to defeat these guys so it's really irritating especially when they include these fat guys there we go he's down all right I'm curious what level I am 13 all right let's go ahead and examine this I believe we can examine this no we actually let's go ahead and destroy that that drops the teddy bear and turns the book into real things so that's cool um, that'll be important in a bit. Let's go ahead and light this torch here. That will open up the lion's mouth and give us an item. Let's see what we get. If it's another gummy thing. Oh, that's a defense up. Not bad. You'll want to save those for yourself because honestly, like throughout the series, or for not throughout the series, throughout the game, you're not going to want to really give Donald Goofy stuff um, unless it benefits you. And so all the, you know, stat upgrades and things, you just want to give to yourself so you don't die. 
Because whether or not you die doesn't matter. Or whether or not they die doesn't matter because, I mean, you're you're the only one. Alright, so you can see there's a white trinity there we can't do anything about. We talk to this guy. Give me an elixir. Alright, do I have one of those? I don't. Maybe if I got one in uh, stock. Yes, I do, which means I can go ahead and tra trade it out with a potion. Alright, elixir to the flower. And he will give us a mithril shard and some money. Not sure if that was worth it, but, uh, YOLO! Alright, I hate myself for saying that. Give me a potion. Potions are much more common, so no skin off our nose. And he gives us a high potion, which is pretty much an exchange. Uh, a better trade, and he gives us, uh, a bunch of magic. So now we can return to that room. Alright. So I think that's pretty much everything we can do right now. Um, wow. Wow. That was pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, we need to do that. We need to mess with the teddy bear. All right. I don't think that we can go through that hole. I'm going to see in a second after I beat these guys. Hop up there? No. Nope. Too high for us. So, we're going to have to go ahead and enter this hole here to the lotus forest. My apologies for that slight interruption. Alright, so now, we want to head straight to the regular bizarre room. After we do this, I can't, I can't not do this, it's just, it's so satisfying. Alright. Let's go this way, and back to the bizarre, or back to the Queen's Castle, and then into the bizarre room. Alright. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit first, and come over here. You'll have a better view from higher up. Alright, but first, what we want to do... Oh, come on. I know I can make that jump. Come on, I know I can make that jump. I should probably stop trying to make that jump. Alright, we can jump up here. And what we want to do, actually, before we talk to the Cheshire Cat, is to take a drink. Because... When we dropped that teddy bear, we activated a mini chain of events that we can do to get a couple new items. Or maybe at least one new item. Alright. Remove the teddy bear. It'll make the book flat and make the clock solid. Um, you can swap back. Actually, hang on. I think the book does something. So, there's that. Go ahead and exam read the book. Something is stuck inside. A mithril shard. Alright. So now I'm going to move the teddy bear back to the make the clock solid. And we want to move the clock. We move the clock to the side. I wonder if we move the teddy bear again, if it makes that clock solid. Oh, it moves it back. Lame. Wait, I don't want to read the book again. Nothing of importance is written. <laughs> wow, take that, author. Hate you. All right. All right, there's that. And now if we shrink back down. Notice how the Cheshire Cat isn't there. That's interesting. All right. We can go ahead and enter through this hole here. Where does this take us? The tea party garden, that's right. And then up here, on the tea party garden, we'll get a new item. I think it's a gummy. Oh no, what the heck is- Oh, dark matter to synthesis. Alright, you'll notice that there are three treasure chests over there. We're not going to be able to get these until much later. Or if we can get them, um, I don't do it until later anyway. Because it's much easier, I don't have to memorize more paths in this place. Sorry about that, and then we can't, dang, look at that, didn't even see him. Alright, so now we can head back, and actually, I don't want to head back, I lied. Um, what I want to do is actually train up a bit, um, because I want to get a new ability, but we can't do that for another six levels. No, eight levels, woo. So, I'm going to actually, that may be a little overkill, but I really like this ability. Well, I, I mean really like it, it's really helpful. Um... So I'm going to, before we head in to talk to the Cheshire Cat, I am going to do a bunch of grinding in the Tea Party Garden and the, uh, uh, not the Tea, yeah, the Tea Party Garden and the Lotus Forest and then the Bazaar Room. So I will meet you guys just back in a second. Whee! Alright, so I've finished up all of my grinding, and I've gone ahead and leveled myself up to level 21. Now, you may be wondering why I've done this, and it seems a bit overkill, especially at this point in the game. 
but the reason is because I wanted scan. Now scan, it's not even a like a, a, a technical move, I guess you could say. You know, something like slap shot or stun impact, which I also learned while leveling up. But it lets me see all enemies' health at all times. And that's really helpful to me. And so in order to make this as comprehensive as possible, I wanted to show off as many bosses with health as I could. And generally, you know, for the most part, you're going to have scan by this boss because I chose the shield um, it takes a little longer to get scanned so that's why I went ahead and uh, leveled up and got scanned so let's go ahead and enter the bizarre room and talk to mr. Cheshire cat over here actually made that jump too the shadows should be here soon are you prepared for the worst? If not, too bad! Alright, it's time for our... Uh, oh, I don't know what number of boss fight this is. Second or third, at least. But now you can see in the top left corner, when we're locked on, we have access to seeing his health and that's really helpful especially with boss fights not so much with standard enemies because you know those are pretty easy to defeat but but with boss fights this is especially helpful now this guy is a little difficult because his attacks won't let you hit um or he, he, he's so tall that he won't let he you won't be able to hit him unless you jump off this table or you know hit him with a magic attack when you jump but he will drop once you hit him uh, with a combo, I believe, or at least a, to a certain number of HP. And then uh, he'll, he'll, he'll let you hit him a few times. This fight isn't as hard as uh, it would seem. If you're a new player, you might have issues with it. Um, I remember I did. Um, one thing you can use is the table and the chair, but keep in mind that if you use these too much and, and uh, he gets close, he will hit the table and the chair and... You know, sort of shrink them into the ground so you won't be able to use. Oh, see, he just did it with the table. Now the table's gone, we don't have access to that. Let's see if he'll do it to the chair now that I've used the chair. Once he does that, it becomes very difficult. This fight, it doesn't get kind of difficult, it just becomes annoying because you can't hit him more than once because your combos get cancelled against his legs. Alright, so let's go ahead and. Come on, get up there. Alright, let's go ahead and hit him with the fire. Alright, it kind of dissipated. Um, oh crap. Out. All right, the table's back, and we can use that, but he's too far. So I mean, it's not gonna be helpful. All right, freaking goofy, why don't you heal me? Maybe I need help. No, I don't need help. All right, get up there. All right, he's dropped. We should be able to take him out, maybe. Yes, we will get him. No, we won't. Crap. All right, we can hit him with one more freeze. One more freeze. There we go. Donald leveled up to max H. Ma leveled up his max HP. Not too max HP. What a racket. How's a doorknob to get any sleep? <sighs> what was that? You hear that? It sounded like something closed. This gummy ain't like the others, no sir. Okay, I'll hold on to it. Let me get a Navi G piece. Splendid, you're quite the hero. If you're looking for Alice, she's not here. She's gone off with the shadows into the darkness. No. 
Let's go back to our gummy ship. We might find her in another world. We've got to go to a save point to return to our ship. So it takes us back to the first save point. And from here, we can go to the save menu and go to the gummy ship and board the gummy ship. All right, and that is Wonderland finished. We've got a few more Trinities and a few more uh, treasure chests to get. But for the most part, that is the whole world finished. So thank you all for watching this episode. Next time, we'll travel on to the second most difficult world that we have access to right now. Because this one is a little bit higher level. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Have a fantastic day.